Now at 6.30 on WKYT This Morning, several crews are still on the scene of a massive fire that has destroyed a landmark business in London, Kentucky. We have some snow showers to be filtering through the region throughout the morning hours and even toward the afternoon, and also a winter weather advisory in effect until early afternoon hours. A Southern Kentucky boy who's battling cancer has a Super Bowl wish come true. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning to you and welcome. Hope you had a nice weekend. It's Groundhog Day. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. We are watching a situation at Bluegrass Airport. A couple of flights have been canceled. Right. Most of that uh, very tough weather has stayed to our north, but it's impacting the national uh, system of air travel. So we'll update you on that and a lot of news this morning, including the fire in London. But here is meteorologist Micah Harris with an update on weather. Yeah, and we're looking outside and there's just not much going on. You have some uh, wintry mix down toward the southeast as it's interacting with air. Uh, with the mountainous regions, but for the most part, we're staying dry this morning. We're not really in the snow, the bulk of it, just yet. We do have some flakes to the north and northwest, uh, but the bulk of it actually rolls through in the next several hours, and you will be seeing that very shortly as you can look across the region. Frankfurt to Richmond, Richmond to uh, uh, Lexington, and also Corbin sitting in the 30s. We dropped through the day. A plan for a really cold afternoon. 25 degrees is what we actually dropped to. Already hit our high breezy conditions and drying out toward that afternoon hour. Now, the next few days, a couple of days actually look good, but then we have another toward midweek that we got to be paying attention to. And I'll go over the latest forecast in about 10 minutes. Okay, we'll see you then. We thank you. Here's the latest from WKYT. Now, on to some developing news we are following Weaver's, a historic restaurant in downtown London, is destroyed after an overnight fire. Weaver's is a London landmark known to many throughout the area. It has been at the corner of Main and West 6th Streets for more than 70 years. Years until now. This overnight fire started a little after midnight. Charles shared this eyewitness video with us. Uh, you can see just how intense the fire was when crews were arriving. Dozens of people showed up to see the building go up in flames. WKYT's Mark Barber is live in London this morning with reaction and the latest on the investigation that's soon to get underway. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Bill and Rebecca. Many firefighters say it has been heartbreaking to watch the smoke and flames destroy the iconic restaurant. Firefighters say they tried their hardest to save it, but they say Weaver's, their locally famous restaurant known for its chili dogs, has been gutted by the fire. They also say a nearby clothing store, Bob's Ready to Wear, has been heavily damaged by the smoke. They believe that this fire started just after midnight, and while firefighters say nobody was hurt by the flames, they say many in the community are hurting this morning. They say that this place has been here since 1940, and again, locally famous spot, well known for its chili dogs. So these people say that they have a lifetime of memories here, many of them do. In fact, one firefighter that we spoke with here, the captain of the fire department, said that it has been heartbreaking to watch as part of London's history really has gone up in smoke and flames. <laughs> My time staying up on the aerial, watching everything evolve, it's just, it, to be honest with you, it was just a sinking, a sinking feeling because I know what this business uh, means to the folks of London Laurel County and, and how long it's been around, it's just kind of heartbreaking. Firefighters tell us they have the fire mainly contained by this point, but they say hot spots are continuing to flare up, so they are still working to keep those under control this morning. Now, they also tell us that they do not know where the flame started, but we are told that an investigator is on his way out there here. He will take a look at what sparked these flames. Live in London, Mark Barber, WKYT. All right, so many memories of those great chili dogs. As we mentioned, Weaver's has been a part of downtown London for decades. It opened in the 1940s and has been a family-run business ever since. It has received national fame for its chili dogs. Weaver's actually closed for some months back in 2011. At that time, the owner never thought it would reopen. But hundreds of loyal customers were there the day in May when it closed. And after all the public demand, Weaver's reopened a few months later uh, with a relative in charge. While the restaurant will never be the same now, many in the community told us this morning they hope this is not the end for Weaver's. Well, for the second time in less than a week, the Northeast is bracing for yet another blizzard. The same storm system is actually impacting travel right here in Kentucky. WKYT's Hillary Thornton is live this morning at Bluegrass Airport with the latest on this travel alert. Good morning, Rebecca. From a what has become a very windy and much colder Bluegrass Airport from when we first got out here just about two hours ago. Now, travel-wise, the only problems out here are a few cancellations to the Midwest. 
but that is expected to change as these colder temperatures move in with the possibility of some snow. With wintry weather slamming the Midwest, this morning's flights to and from Chicago are canceled. With colder weather expected to move in, many road crews are now out in the area patrolling and treating the roadways, something they were not able to do effectively overnight due to the rainfall. Transportation officials say since the rapidly dropping temperatures during the past hour or so, they expect pavement temperatures are now close to freezing, possibly causing slick spots, especially on bridges and overpasses for the morning commute. Officials encourage anyone who has to be out on the roads this morning to give yourself some extra time to get where you are going and be aware that there could be some slick and icy spots. Now, if you are scheduled to fly out of here in Lexington, airport officials encourage you to check your flight status a few hours before your scheduled takeoff. Live in Lexington, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Well, state police need your help finding a missing man. A golden alert has been issued for 83-year-old Curtis Rose from Waco. The Madison County man has been missing since yesterday afternoon. He was last seen driving a red 2011 GMC Sierra. Police say the truck has some damage to it and a toolbox in the bed. Lexington police are on the lookout for a man who cut off his ankle monitoring bracelet during a chase. Police say they were checking out a domestic call involving 21-year-old Derek Smith. When they showed up, they say Smith took off running toward Cardinal Hill Rehabilitation Hospital. That's where police found his ankle monitoring device in the parking lot. Smith is still on the run this morning. It's now 637 on WKYT this morning. After two months on the run, an escapee is back in prison this morning. Michael Fleet was arrested over the weekend in Bell County. Fleet and Joshua Stevens escaped from Blackburn Correctional Facility in Lexington back in November. Stevens was arrested in December near Cincinnati. Fleet is to be arraigned today in Lexington on the escape charge. He was serving a 13-year sentence for burglary and would have been eligible for parole in March. Well, the New England Patriots are the Super Bowl champs after knocking off the Seattle Seahawks. For one Southern Kentucky eight year old, the Super Bowl was just unforgettable. The Make a Wish Foundation granted Shannon Cox a trip to Arizona for the big game. Doctors had diagnosed Shannon with leukemia in December of 2013. Before the Super Bowl, Shannon and his family were able to play on the field with retired NFL players, and they even got to check out the locker rooms. It, it means everything to him. He is just overly excited to be here and to be able to do, do this stuff, to, to experience this, I guess. And it's every day. He'll, he counts down the days to today. That's what he's been doing. He will always be sure to remember that. Shannon's cancer is in remission. He does have to undergo three years of preventative treatments. Well, it's good to see him doing better and uh, certainly hope that uh, he enjoyed his time out there. Well, when President Obama said that he would enjoy discussing politics with Senator Mitch McConnell of Kentucky over a glass of bourbon, many Kentuckians were excited to try to help that happen. And today, they will. The Kentucky Distillers Association and the Henry Clay Center for Statesmanship is sending the bourbon barrel of compromise to Washington, D.C. This morning, master distillers from several distilleries will fill the barrel at Henry Clay's Ashland Estate. I'm not an expert. I don't know if it'll do much, but hey, anything's worth a try, and we'll, we'll see where it goes. The send off ceremony begins at 10 this morning. No word on whether the president will attend the Washington ceremony, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is an odd spot to be in. Kentucky fans celebrating a Duke win. That was the case this weekend because Duke knocked off Virginia, making Kentucky the only undefeated team in the entire country. But there was something else special that happened this weekend in Virginia. No, no! Get him up. Get him up. That's it. Look at that. Student Tyler Lewis hit a half court shot to win $18,000. He missed three shots but sank the fourth, causing everyone in the gym to have that kind of reaction. <laughs> to pretty much just go nuts. They right? did. All right. <laughs> well, exciting time for him. Uh, in the. Uh... Oh, what fun. You know, it was another good uh, weekend also for uh, Chris Matthews, we should mention, the ex-cat uh, who yeah. was really making a run for Super Bowl's MVP, mm -hmm. obviously Tom Brady uh, with that distinction. But, you know, we should mention him because really just some amazing uh, plays uh, there in the first uh, half. Some uh, good action there on uh, behalf of the Hawks, right? Uh, 640 is the time on WKYT this morning, 20 before 7, and it's good to have you along. All right, let's see what's happening 
with Officer Don. Hello. Hey, good morning, Don. Hey, good morning. It's a light ride in right now as we check out the inner and outer loops of the circle. Also, the interstate uh, 75 looks okay. Had an earlier crash on Tate's Creek Road uh, just past the circle. That's been cleared. No one was hurt in that wreck, uh, but it's out of the way now. So, get a live look downtown at Broadway and High Street. Traffic's moving well. Headed that direction this morning. On our Waze map, line drivers reporting normal ride in on the day after the Super Bowl. So, everybody taking it nice and easy. We will keep you up to date. Now, back to the studio. All right, very good. We could get uh, some snow showers here uh, throughout uh, the early morning hours. So, uh, we'll be uh, watching for that as well. Everybody be safe out there. A lot more news coming up on WKYT this Monday morning. A couple of superheroes excited about the Super Bowl. How their bet will benefit children. We're looking down toward the southeast, getting a bit of a mix down there, but really the bulk of the snow actually comes in the next several hours, and it looks like it's going to take some time to get on out of here. Go over the latest forecast. It's up and down the next several days. It's coming up next.